Hello and welcome back, my beautiful Froggy Army, to another video. Today, we are here checking out the new update for Disney Dreamlight Valley. And of course, I'm being... Why do you have to photobomb, like, every single time I'm trying to record a video? Kristoff. Okay, he's sitting on the bench. We're good. Anyways, as I was saying, we're checking out the new update for Disney Dreamlight Valley today. I have been waiting to get my hands on this one, so I'm super excited to play today. And I also wanted to give a huge thank you to Disney Dreamlight Valley for sponsoring our video today. Oh my goodness, I thank you so, so much. If you've never played Disney Dreamlight Valley or you have no idea what it is, I'll give you a quick little rundown while I just walk around and pick up some of my thingies that have grown today. Disney Dreamlight Valley is a life sim adventure game where you can do all kinds of fun stuff with your favorite Disney and Pixar characters like gardening, fishing, cooking, harvesting, just like I'm doing, collecting all your materials, and of course decorating to your heart's content both the outside and the inside. Now I have not done very much decorating in this general facility by my house because I usually use this for crops so uh, there's no crops right here so I know it looks a little empty but it's okay you know this is this is valuable land that we use for our gardening purposes okay but anyway i have been absolutely loving this game i mean you know me i love all things farming crafting um foraging decorating all that kind of stuff so merlin is offering us some tool upgrades for our shovel pickaxe and fishing rod so that is awesome anyways i came to you because i want to hang out if that's all right with you but so far what's been happening as i harvest all of my stuff we are now in the dreamlight valley and unfortunately the forgetting happened happened and everybody lost their memories and there were so many people who used to live here who were gone so we've been slowly getting everyone's memories back restoring the valley and bringing more and more characters back to the valley so that's been super exciting so i've just been doing quests and getting new characters and trying to make my valley look super cute if you would like to see me play through kind of the more beginning of the game you can check out my very first dreamlight valley video that i have where i play through the very beginning of the game if you want to get like all caught up. If you would like to join in on the fun, then you can buy the Founders Pack edition of your choice and get early access to Disney Dreamlight Valley today. So thanks again to Disney Dreamlight Valley for sponsoring today's video. But with all that being said, I am going to finish up our little daily routine here. I like to have a little bit of a routine, you know, it just helps me remember to do things. So one of the things is of course to check the shop. Ooh, look at this fun stuff here. I'm gonna buy this table. Oh yeah, marble coffee table? Absolutely, thank you. Donald's having a tantrum in here. Good sir. Come on, not in the store, please. There's customers. <laughs> oh, I like this little stool. This is really cute. I'm gonna buy this. And I have a fully upgraded store, so we get to check the upstairs as well. I'll take this red couch. That's pretty cheap. We got this cool light fixture, but I just bought something similar. Eh, it's pretty cheap. I'll, I'll just buy it anyway. I wanna like round out my collection. So I tend to buy most things that are available. <gasps> what is this? Whatever this is. Oh, yes. <gasps> Can you sit on this? I'm buying it whatever it is uh what about clothes let's see oh this hat is really cute i'm gonna buy this hat speaking of new clothes though let's go ahead and change your outfit because what am i wearing <laughs> i'm wearing like the most random things okay there we go there's the outfit for today let's get back out there so those are all the dailies i'm gonna do for now i usually do some stuff with my crops but i want to get into the new stuff first so i think let's do that first so we do have a new event we have a new festive star path and i'm super excited to get into this and there are also new styles for mickey mouse and merlin which i am so so excited about they're changing up their look a little bit for the holiday season so behind my face cam actually let me move myself out of the way there you can see mary mickey so so cute i absolutely love it but anyways let's look at the rewards i'm so excited to see what we can get this is so cute little gingerbread a little stitch a festive fox companion <gasps> I need that. I absolutely... We need this. We need this. <gasps> Hot cocoa stand? We are getting everything. We are getting absolutely everything here. What else is there? I'm not even ready. Festive garland, a festive dinner table. Oh my goodness, yes. I need more rugs for inside of my house. And festive windows. <gasps> We're gonna have the coziest house in the entire world. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the premium star path since I do have enough moonstones and why not? Let's also get some of the currency as well while we're at it. So one of the first things I'm gonna unlock is this wreath post. 
Oh, absolutely. It's so good. It's so good. And then I think let's get this little outfit, even though we just changed our outfit. Let's get a little bit more festive. Why not? Let's get the little freckles. I'm going to get some extra moonstones. Thank you very much. So if you've never participated in a star path, basically you can earn the currency, which are like the little presents there in the top right corner, um, by completing some duties. So I have six that I can complete since I unlocked um, the premium star path, but usually you only have three if you don't unlock it. So we just have to pet some animal companions, go mining, catch fish, hang out with Moana for an hour, um, daily discussions with Mickey, you know, pretty easy stuff. So I feel like we can get a lot done today, but let's go ahead and change into our a little outfit. Oh, this is so cute. <gasps> this is so adorable. And let's add our little face paint. <gasps> so cute with the little snowflakes. And I'm going to put on some festive of red uh, Mickey ears just to complete the whole look and I guess the yellow shoes can stay why not we are so festive now I love it I love it so much okay so there is a new realm so we're gonna go and check it out and we have unlocked the Toy Story realm heck yeah let's go check it out I'm so excited <gasps> yes oh my goodness it's so cute Oh, I love it so much. I used to rewatch Toy Story like over and over again. Whenever we would go to my grandma's house, she had it on VHS. So we would just pop it in, you know, if we had nothing to do. Oh, rewatch Toy Story. Easy. All right, let's go see what Buzz has to say. Hello. I'm afraid I'm in desperate need of assistance. My batteries are depleting. Now my electronic features are acting up. <gasps> oh no. Say no more. Why don't you just stay here while I find you some new batteries? I got this. Oh, here's one of them. <gasps> and they're so big. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. Looking for the second battery. Oh, it's literally right here. Hello. Thank you so much. Second battery down. Okay, now we can go back to Buzz. Bonnie has gone on vacation with her family and left Woody and me behind on an important mission, but the mission, well, let's just say it did not proceed according to plan. Woody got knocked out of the window. We've got to rescue him, obviously. I tried to get him back inside, but the window slammed back down and locked. Ooh. I was planning to build the race car track around and launch a toy car at the latch of the window. If it's hit precisely at the right angle, it'll unlock and Woody can get back inside the geometry. <laughs> so we just got to put together a few more pieces of the track. Let's do it. Okay, here's one. We just got to get 10 of these bad boys. Oh, that's, that's easy. Okay, we got all the pieces for you. Here you go. Hopefully this will help you did it all of the pieces of the race car track are back in one place but some of them aren't at the right height what are we supposed to do we'll use the local vegetation to help us there's some magic growing cactuses scattered around the room if we place them under the race car tracks add a little liquid they'll grow and lift up the race car tracks great plan i had a feeling that these little things were going to be something we were going to collect i didn't know what they were but i had the feeling I know. And now we just give them all a little water. Oh, there they go. There we go. Oh my goodness, they have little faces. That's so cute. Oh my goodness, there it goes. Look at all of our hard work. Okay, is this gonna pay off? Is this gonna work? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, we freaking did it. Oh my goodness, the geometry buzz. We did it. Woody, there he is. He's back. What's up? Okay, so Bonnie was making some little characters for a play and her farm got knocked over and it broke and the pieces went everywhere. Buzz and Woody were going to rebuild everything before she got back. So I think that's their uh, special mission that they've been working on. So Buzz wants some new materials to improve all of the figures for the play and I invited him to come to Dreamlight Valley because we have all the stuff for him. And now we have Buzz's RV to go place in the valley. Ooh, I'm so excited to see what this is. Now the question is, where do I put it? I never knew know where to put anything i guess here's the remnants of where mickey's house used to be um i guess we could put it here let me just pick all of this stuff up really quick oh this is pretty small okay well yeah we'll put it right there and we need ten thousand star coins for that thankfully i have just enough let's see what it looks like Ooh, it's so cute oh my goodness this little rv it's adorable welcome buzz lightyear <gasps> yes Oh my goodness, we got him so quick. Honestly. Hello and welcome. Oh my goodness, and he's toy sized. Let's take a quick selfie. There we go. Hey, there we go. We completed our first mission for Buzz. And now we have one for Woody. Hey, before you wander off, I have something to give you. Do I have any of your favorite things today? I have a green passion lily, not a red one. Dang it. And sorry, Buzz, but you're not getting a diamond. You can have some cherries. <laughs> 
<laughs> Let's just try to get him to level two. There we go, nice and easy. I need more people to help me mining, so I'm gonna give him mining. I feel like that'll be good. So let's take a quick pause from doing all of that because I do have some crops that need to be watered over here. So let's go take care of those. This is my giant pumpkin farm and this little bird has decided to say hi. Hey, what's up? But yeah, pumpkins are like the best for making money, I would say personally in my opinion, but I have just been planting them here and growing them and I've been making a lot of money, let me just say. So they do need like a little bit of a second water. So we're just going to do this like super quick. Okay, everything's nice and watered, looking good. Let me also pick... Uh, this stuff. I've got a little bush over here as well. Thank you. Oh, and Merlin is giving me some extras. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, now let's head back to the Toy Story realm because I want to continue the quest that Woody's got for me. I don't know what he needs, but hey, I'll help you with whatever. I've got so many skills. Have you seen me fishing? We need to start by collecting a corral where all the cattle can live. Okay, for Bonnie's farm. Got it. We need some supplies. We need pipe cleaners and ice pop sticks that are scattered around the room. Got it, got it. Okay, here are the popsicle sticks and we've got the pipe cleaners in here. I think we have to use our pickaxe for this one. Yep, yep, yep. We're still going to need a couple more things to rebuild the farm. We're going to need some yellow daisies next. So another cool thing that came with this update. Uh, so as you can see, the sun is starting to set a little bit and it is a very pretty, but you know, sometimes if it's a little bit darker, it can be harder for some of us to see. So you can actually go into the settings now and you can offset the time of day and that just affects your visuals. So you can make it brighter or darker if you want to. So now we're nice and bright. So that's a feature that I really like because I generally can only play in the nighttime or in the evening. And I like to see my valley nice and bright, you know? So super cool. Now we can see everything. Ah, I'm just grabbing the two daisies that we need. And then we got to go talk to Buzz, see if he figured out something about like a glue situation. Hello, Buzz. How are you today? You found an adhesive bonding agent. Oh, it's super glue. <laughs> All right, we brought the rest of the stuff stuff to Woody, including the super glue. <laughs> oh, it looks so cute. Oh my goodness. Great job. But the adventure does not end there, folks. Uh, when the farm got knocked over, all of the origami animals got scattered over. So we got to go round them up. Okay. Are those the cute little... <gasps> yes, the cute little ones that I've been seeing everywhere. <gasps> I'm so glad we get to collect these. And we get to collect the little turtle. Oh my goodness, so cute. Oh my goodness, they're so cute in there. Why don't you take a little vacation for yourself, Woody? Just come over to the valley, come on. He gets a carousel? What? Oh, Woody's carousel is uh fairly large. Okay, we're gonna put it right next to Buzz. There we go. Oh my goodness, we need 10,000 star coins and I don't have enough. I'm almost there. I have like 9,600. So let me just uh, harvest some stuff. We can go sell some things really quick and then hopefully we'll have enough money. Goofy, please help me. Oh, I never sold all of our fruit that we picked earlier. Let's sell all of that. I'm sure that'll put us over the edge. There we go. Plenty of money. Okay, let's see. I'm excited. Oh, it's cute. It does need some work. That's what Scrooge was saying, but I'm so excited to see it once it's all cleaned up. And now we have Woody joining us. Welcome. Welcome, a round of applause. So now we have both Buzz and Woody moved in, which is super exciting. So I want to show you now a little bit of decorating that I have done since the last time I have updated you. I've been working on like this little plaza area. So we have Scrooge's right here, his store very cute. I really love using grass to decorate in case you couldn't see it. And I got this super cool fountain. So I was decorating kind of like a little centerpiece here. Could still fit some more stuff in. Um, but then we also have Remy's restaurant and I also decided to put his house right next to it because I just thought they went together and I made him like a little cute outdoor seating area. I think it's so cute. And he's got a little garden back here too where he harvests all of his fresh veggies for his meals. And I was working on this path as well to go to the forest and that kind of leads you down here towards the meadow area as well. Let me pick up these sticks. Hey, no block in the path. 
So yeah, that's kind of like the latest area I've been working on. I kind of do stuff in big sections, like either it's not decorated at all or I have like just one big chunk somewhere. Like that's kind of how I do have been decorating. I think let's get to work on some of these duties for the star path because I want to unlock some more things. So we got to pet animals, go mining, catch fish, hang out with Moana, and uh, we got to go talk to Mickey. So let's go find Mickey. Where the heck is he? You can always check on the map. Oh, he's coming right towards us oh hello i summoned you we're supposed to hang out for an hour i don't know if you know that oh i forgot i was in the middle of doing a quest for her um we're looking for her little piggy so let's go do that really quick i'm following you to wherever we're going i have no idea i forgot what this quest was all about another thing we have to do for the star path is uh pet our little animals Oh my goodness, I love that I can pet him. Okay, there we go. We finished that. And while we're in the meadow, we also do have to catch fish here. So let's go catch some really quick. Look at how shiny and sparkly my uh, fishing rod is right now. I used one of the one of the little things that Merlin gave me on it. Hey, Donald. What's up? I'm so sorry. I'm stealing your fish. Oh no. Oh, Donald, I'm so <laughs> He made me mess up. No. Oh my goodness. He just tripped twice in a row. I am so sorry, Donald. That was painful to watch. Oh my goodness, are we all fishing right now? Look at us, the little fishing club. So I'm gonna take a quick break from fishing and we're gonna go continue the quest with Moana. Oh my goodness, what is this? There's a little mess on the floor. <gasps> Wait, what happened to <laughs> my brick path that was here? Oh no, he's definitely in the forest. And it also started raining. Oh no. I could have just waited to water my pumpkins and the rain would have watered them. Oh no, he's trapped in here. We gotta free him from the night thorns. Nice. We freed him and now he's back. But okay, I am getting distracted a little bit. But since we're in here, uh, we do have one of the duties is to cook with basil. So I am not sure what you can make with this. I don't know any recipes off the top of my head. What if we just put that in the pot? What does that make? Hors d'oeuvres, okay. Okay, I went ahead and made 10 meals with basil. I got, I gotta buy the hot cocoa stand. It's so cute, it's so cute. I wanna unlock a bunch of this so we can make like a cute little like decorated festive area, you know? I'm gonna keep mining in the plaza because we have to do this as one of our little tasks. And while I'm waiting for the rocks to respawn, I'm gonna continue doing my little fishies in the meadow. Oh, and it looks like the rain is clearing up a little bit. It's getting a little bit sunnier. So yeah, we'll just alternate doing the rocks and doing the fishing and hopefully we should get those tasks accomplished. I'm pretty behind on my decorating. I just absolutely love doing like the simple tasks in this game. Like I love just logging in in the evening and just having a cozy night of just like fishing or just like chilling out and harvesting my crops or watering them or something like that. You know, I like to take it easy, just have a nice chill time. But I am excited to decorate too, especially when there's new exciting festive items. So I can't wait for that. All right, I took a little bit of a break to go eat some dinner and uh, we're just gonna continue on our quests. I need to make about 10K more star coins. So I think I'm gonna do my favorite little trick of making a bunch of souffles. So I just like to come into Remy's restaurant. I say let's make like 15 and I'm gonna buy uh, yeah, 15 of each ingredient. And then we're just gonna make a whole bunch of souffles with Remy. Okay, so I just made a bunch of souffles and it looks like we've hung out with Moana for an hour. Thankfully, me taking a break to go eat dinner um, killed most of that time off. So there we go. And I have made so many souffles. Like, I made way more than 15. I made 27. Let's go sell these to Goofy. I'm excited to see how much we get for all of them. Okay, Goofy, how would you like 26 souffles? That is 31,000. Oh, okay. That was way more than I thought. <laughs> let's see. We have to get the big pile of gifts. Let's get that. So cute. And let's grab this grand tree as well. So cute. All right. So I went ahead and took the liberty of just completing a bunch of our duties because it took me kind of a while. For these freaking night thorns, I had to hunt across the entire map to try to find some. I swear I got rid of every single one. So we got rid of all the night thorns, mined all the rocks in the plot. Uh, I think I'm gonna get this is dinner table so cute and then since I do have some extra moonstone I think I am gonna go ahead and buy some tokens just to 
get us the rest of the way here. Okay, so now we're gonna get to a little bit of decorating. I do have to switch over to mouse and keyboard for this. I just feel like it's easier for me because I started playing the game on mouse and keyboard, so it's just much easier for me. Hey, Woody, I'm gonna do some decorating so we can hang out later, all right? Gotta go. So I was thinking we could put some of our festive decor to work around my house because I've been neglecting my poor house. I've been decorating other areas. So, you know, it deserves some nice decorations today. So I'm gonna start off by just picking everything up and just getting everything kind of out of the way here. I think instead of having my house in this little corner, we're gonna move it over to the side and it's gonna be in the middle. I feel like that'll be really cute and that gives us more space, you know, on either side to work with. Okay, so let's start out with the right side. I think the right side is gonna be our cute little festive area. So I'm going to continue this fence if I can over here. We're gonna continue it this way. I really like this banner. I'm gonna use this banner because, you know, it's festivities. Might as well throw a banner up there. Okay, so the main thing I think is gonna be this tree. This is so cute. Oh, it is so adorable. We're gonna place that right there. And you know what? This is pretty big, so I am going to scooch our house over <laughs> just a little bit. Okay, maybe like that much. Then let's get our little hot cocoa stands. I'm gonna put two side by side just on the side of the house like this. So it's gonna be a whole hot cocoa station, you know, we're real serious about our hot cocoa over here. Then I'm going to put some more presents back here, just like that. That's super cute. And of course, we have to have these beautiful lamps. These are so cute. So I'm going to place those on either side. And then I think let's do the table right out here. Oh, yes. And I'm going to take the liberty of extending this area even more. We're going to remove all of this stuff. I'm going to put Santa's sleigh over here on the side, along with another pile of gifts. And I'm going to do some of this rocky terrain just kind of underneath some of this stuff. And I'm going to take some of these little itty bitty melted candles and I'm just going to put these anywhere that I think that they would be cute. These are really cute at night. They kind of like give off this cute little glow. And I'm going to put some more things on the table. I have this biscuit bowl. I have two of those actually I'm going to put there. And I think I'm going to do our fallen tree log that I was so obsessed with as seating for the table because I kind of don't have any other seats and I don't have enough material to make the other seats and then we're gonna pull it all together with some trees and stuff like that we're really gonna make this look good oh wait there's snowy ones oh but these are really tall Ooh, well i'll replace this one with one of those tall snowy trees i'm gonna do one of these sunlit plateau ferns because they are you know like reddish and then i'm absolutely obsessed with using the beach grass so i'm just gonna put that like literally everywhere <laughs> i like my valley to be like pretty natural looking you know what i mean and then I like to use these little plaza stone clusters as little steppy stones. I think I have like one or two finishing touches that I want to do here, but we need to go grab some things. So first, before we do that, let's work on the rest of my little house area. I'm just going to keep this pretty simple, to be honest. So I think I'm going to move my crafting table back here and same with my little stove. Um, I have them outside because I just sometimes don't feel like going in my house, you know? And I really like ferns because they can go on top of paths. So whenever I kind of want to like cover up where there's like a jaggedy edge of a path, I will just throw a fern on there because they are super handy for that. I'm going to put a potted plant over here in this corner and I just realized that I moved this and now I can't use it. Okay, there we go. For a last finishing touch, I grabbed some of these cute red flowers and I'm going to attempt to sprinkle these in in a few places. Let's hope we can fit them in. Okay, so I did manage to fit in a few red flowers sprinkled in and here is how it came out. I am so, so happy with it. This is absolutely adorable. Look at this cute little section we got here. We got the hot cocoa stand. We got the presents, the tree, the beautiful table with the little Mickey Mouse centerpiece. I absolutely love it. And we've got our little sleigh with extra presents and my house is uh, ready to go. It's nice and functional, lots of room to walk around. And I finally have access to this rock again. I couldn't access it before because my house was pushed up right against it. So yeah, that is it for my house. It came out so, so cute. And I forgot to mention there is another character that we haven't unlocked yet. I believe it does take a few days, but we can get the process started here. There's a little mystery of the stolen sock. So let's go give these to Donald super quick. Hey Donald, we found this sock just lying on the ground with your initials. I said, I didn't even know you wear socks. And he's like, I don't. I got these as a gift and I now use them to wash my dishes. 
McDonald. <laughs> it must have been stolen. Stolen right out of my house. So we have a sock thief on the loose. You better search around my house. The space aliens made a gigantic mess. There's gotta be a clue. All right, let's check. We found this strange device. Here you go. What's this? I think this thing belongs to whoever chewed on your sock. And maybe we could just find more DNA samples. It would power up this weird device. I'll keep an eye out for any more missing socks or lights in the sky. So we'll be keeping an eye out for any more missing socks. And we will be able to get another character very soon. And spoiler alert, it is Stitch. So I am very excited to finally get him eventually. So that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. And huge thank you to Disney Dream My Valley for sponsoring this video again. Don't forget to click my link down below in the description to buy the Founders Pack edition of your choice and get early access to Disney Dreamlight Valley today. Thank you so much once again for watching and I will see you in the next one.